Hey Cancer, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for January 2018. We are here, we are in the new year. It's exciting times. We're starting off with not only a month of moons, but we've also got the first moon of the year happening in your sign, which means beautiful changes for you, Cancer. So we're going to talk all about that. But before we jump in, I want to invite you to $3 Thursdays that I've got going on all of 2018. The third Thursday of every month, I will be doing a live but private teaching session with question and answer on any given range of astrology topics. In January, on January 18th, we're going to be talking about business timing in astrology. So I'll be showing you some aspects looking at the timing. If you are looking to start a business, you have a business, you want to make some adjustments, you want to launch a new project, you want to buy something, you want to sell something, you want to try and get a job, you want to quit a job. We're going to talk about all of these different aspects and the timing of them in astrology. So grab your chart, jump in, join me for $3 Thursdays. You can join for one of them, buy the whole year, whatever it is you want to do. But I hope to see you in there because it's a really cool, intimate way to get your questions answered and to learn. So I'll see you there. Links in the description box. All right, Cancer, a month of moons. We've got the full moon happening in your sign at the beginning of the month. Mid-month, we've got a new moon, and then we have got a lunar eclipse. So we're in our first eclipse of the year as well. Now, you are naturally ruled by the moon. So beginning this year. This is the peeling of a new chapter of your life, but it is also a time where we have to remember that Saturn is over in Capricorn. So the question that you will certainly, certainly be working with, especially in regards to yourself this year, Cancer, is relationships. And the relationship cancer of what is right for you and are you being responsible for bringing into your life and pushing out of your life what doesn't belong there? It is a year cancer where I can tell you all year long, nobody is going to be accepting the blame game at all. So if you have any part of that going on, you're probably going to see that well up and then have to push it away and have to accept and be very, very accountable for the space that you're creating. But with this full moon here on the 1st of January in your sign, you could be doing that. You could be like, this has been holding me back. I'm not willing to hold on to this anymore. I'm showing up as this person has been holding me back. I'm not doing that anymore. If you've had old hangups, old loves, old ideas about relationships, old ideas about things in your past, you may be willing at this full moon to let them go because the full moon says that something has to be ended, acknowledged, and adjusted. So we're going to you will have change prompted here, okay? So, and it's in your sign, so it's about you. Now, this could also mean that you come out and you decide to start dressing yourself differently, right? You could start presenting yourself differently. You could put out a product. Whatever it is, it's very much so a different sense of representation. But whatever it is, the new year is going to be starting off as a time, Cancer, where you are ready to pursue something else. And if you're not, you're going to have to get ready real for, really fast. But as long as you are not blaming anyone and taking a accountability and responsibility for you, your relationships, the relationships you have in your life, and how you're showing up to those relationships, this can be a beautiful start to a, an amazing year. Now, as we get to the second of the month, we're going to have Uranus coming direct in Aries. Now, remember that Aries energy is a moving force. It's a let's do this, let's go forward kind of energy, right? So for you, as we're looking at the way that this energy is showing up for you, we know that you've got force. We know that you've got movement. You know that you've got life. But what Uranus also does is come to break down those structures, right? It's going to come and say, hey, this is a place where maybe you need to reinvent your Yourself. This is a place where maybe you need to get some more education. This is a place where you need to be a little bit more open-minded and he's going to show you these things and what it ushers in for you is new fits of inspiration. I've just told you, you're not in a position anymore where you can be the same cancer you used to be, have the same ideas about relationships, have the same ideas about co-workers. It gets to get bigger. It gets to, it's almost like you get to see that there's so much more available to you if you're willing to take that on and be responsible for bringing it into your life. Now, when we get to the 12th of the month, 
we see an absolutely packed and loaded seventh house for you. Not only is Saturn in Capricorn, so we know he's not playing around. This is very serious energy. Your relationships will be grounded. Pluto is also up there, so changing your ideas and your behaviors around relationships. Venus and the Sun, but then Mercury's moving in there. So now with Mercury being our planet of communication, you've got a lot of communication happening in relationships or places that partnership is happening. Whether that be a marriage, a friendship, you with you as you're trying to decide what do you want and how do you want to be represented over the next year. That's a really good place for questioning. On the 16th, we have the new moon happening in Capricorn. So this is your chance to, at that full moon, cut it off. I can't do this anymore. This isn't working anymore. At the um, new moon on the 16th, you have the opportunity to start fresh. The new moon's where we plant those seeds of intention to begin something new. Now we plant them in the dark. We don't know what it's gonna look like in the end, but we plant them because you have to start somewhere. On the 18th, we have Venus coming into Aquarius, and on the 21st, we have the Sun coming into Aquarius. So now you have not only harmony, because Venus is a harmonizing energy, right? But she's also a financial energy, a relationship, and a magnetic kind of energy, paired with the intensity of the essence of the Sun here in your 8th house. So for some of you Cancers, this could be something going on in your partnerships. Maybe something great is happening for a partner. Maybe you're getting money, they're getting money, and it's somehow benefiting you. You could be having an influx of finances that you didn't pay for, maybe financial aid, student aid, something like that. But also, this is a very intimate energy. So maybe in your relationships, since you'll be working on them so much over the next three years, um, you're going deeper. You're coming to that next place. You know, you got to peel the layer of that onion. You can't keep showing up one way and expecting to have a different kind of relationship. You can't have a bad uh, idea around relationships and then expect to have a good one. At the same time, if you're in the most romantic, perfect relationship on this planet, this is a place where you get to share another piece of your soul. So it could be very, very good energy. The eighth house as well being all occult studies, tarot, astrology, metaphysics, psychological things, investigations. Um, for my cold case people, this is also a very good energy if you're looking up cold case information or research information. So. That's a wonderful energy to work with. On the 27th, we've got Mars coming into Sagittarius. So now you have movement, just like that Aries energy we see with Uranus. Now you've got it just in pure, bold Mars energy. So this is movement action pointed in one direction in the sign of Sagittarius. So it's gonna get bigger, right? Pretty optimistic, and this is in your sixth house. So the place of um, work and of health as well. The biggest thing that I think comes as your shift is your daily routine. I think you're again put in position to be responsible for looking at do I have a daily routine from sleep to eat to joy to play all the way back to bedtime that is fulfilling or do you have these times where you're wasting time are you happy with your daily routine and your schedule this is a great time too if you wanted to start some kind of new exercise regime or some kind of new diet or something around your health if you did need to start start a new course of treatment for something in your health this is a wonderful energy for that as well especially because mercury is not retrograde then on the 31st, as we close out the month, we have got a lunar eclipse, and this is happening in Leo, so hitting into your second house, your income house. Now, this is a total lunar eclipse, so it's going to be a blotting out. When we have a blot out, it is a reset of our emotions and perspectives. So whatever you've been valuing or attaching value to, because it's not just your income or how you make money, but the things that you have been valuing, your values could be changing all month long, but if you're changing, of course, the things that you base your foundational values on will shift as well, and it's all the setup to take you forward. You know what I mean? If you only believe this over here, you usually can't have this life over here. So you very much so have this dynamic going on all month long cancer. Now the other thing that could happen for sure is because it is a lunar eclipse, this can last from six months all the way up until two years just depending on your chart. This is also tied very closely with the asteroid series. There could be income or value um, changing in your life based on a woman in your life. So pay close attention to the women that are rolling around your space, women you're interacting with. Maybe there's even a woman who is showing up for Team Cancer to help you move something forward. So look at the women around you, pay attention to those feminine energies, and see who's on board for Team Cancer. I think it's gonna be a really beautiful start to the year. You've got a lot of changes in how you're ready to present yourself and how you're ready to show up in relationships and you'll grow through those all year long for sure. I look forward to walking with you every month and every week. I will see you at $3 Thursday, so make sure you grab your spot because of course space has to be limited, so I have time to answer questions from all of you. I love you guys a ton. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you in February. Bye.